today on 11th Gorgeous. Fun fact, it's not really fun. The jury's still out on whether it's real or not. Ha ha ha, fooled you. <laughs> you don't wear them. Whatever. Yeah. Hey guys! So today we're gonna be sharing with you some of our favorite hair products. Yes, we have quite a lot, so we, well, kind of. We just narrowed down to kind of must-haves. This is not necessarily everything that we use, but it's some of the ones that we've repurchased or we just keep going back to them. Stephanie hasn't really found this shampoo and conditioner set she just absolutely loves, but this is something I have repurchased, like, probably getting into the 20 time. No, no, maybe like teens. I don't know. I've been using this for years. And that is the Suave Humectant Shampoo and Conditioner. This is empty. So there you go. I need more. I actually just told Steph, I was like, you know what? I need to use some of the other stuff in my shower and get rid of it. Because it'll sit in there for years yeah. because I keep buying this. But it's supposed to be like Nexus. And it's for dry hair. So because our hair has been really dry lately, we have been using lots of the thicker leave-in conditioners. And this is the Redken Extreme Strength Builder Plus. I love it, it smells amazing, and I feel like it's, hel it's helped my hair a good bit. I use it like once a week. Fun fact, it's not really fun, it's actually no, it's not scary. <laughs> this does have protein in it, protein, keratin, things like that that help rebuild your hair. You don't want to use them every day because you can get a protein overload. I mean, you can have too much protein and your hair can kind of break. It can get brittle. Yeah. And so it kind of sounds like it's counterproductive because it's supposed to be strengthening your hair against breakage and stuff like that but if you use too much it makes it brittle and if you're not sure if your stuff has it in there look for things like keratin in the ingredients and if yeah. it's higher up on the list that's bad I mean you should only use that product occasionally right you need to switch it up to so just be aware somebody's stomach is growling and it's not <laughs> mine and it's hers yeah. Another deep conditioning mask is the macadamia nut. I got this from Amazon and a lot of people have said that they don't sell the legit stuff on there, but I mean it still makes my hair feel really good and it smells really good, so the jury's still out on whether it's real or not, but I don't think this has any protein in it. I don't see any at a glance, but it's just the macadamia deep repair mask and it is a little expensive, but for these products you don't wear them. You don't wear them. <laughs> You don't wear them. You don't use them a lot, so they'll last, you know, a good amount of time. I've had mine since June, so. Yeah. And it's still got, like, that much left, which is a lot of usage. I, I, I would probably only do a deep conditioning mask, like, once a week. Yeah. On to the products after you wash your hair. This is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap, except for it's not. Ha ha ha, fooled you. No, I bought the Redken extreme anti-snap and then I bought the generic the GVP from Sally's and I just put it in this bottle after I ran out of the original because it's just really got a handy thing on it but either one works great so if you want to spend the extra money do it if you don't get GVP whatever I love this stuff it's supposed to keep your hair from breaking it really just smells good and makes my hair softer I don't know if it prevents the breakage but I love it all right, all right all right this is a shared favorite it's the dumb blonde leave-in conditioner we've talked about this a lot smells like orange creamsicles and it does say dumb blonde but you don't have to be a blonde to wear it you can it's just I think blondes typically have more, more breakage. breakage and things like that so that's why it's kind of targeted Fake blondes not the real thing right but it smells so good and it's TG bedhead yep. after I get done like drying and doing all the awful heat to my hair it's usually pretty dry feeling so I like to put some form of oil in it I have probably four different oils but this is probably the most affordable and I like it because it you don't have to pour it or anything it actually squirts in your hand uh, the best way to go though is those sprays I wish I had a spray and yeah Do you think you could put a spray nozzle on that and it would work possibly it doesn't but I think too thick. the best kind of spray nozzles would be like the finest yeah like I think one of those would be the best invention for which I'm sure they have them for these things so yeah it's just glistening drops that just it helps on your ends mostly where you lose the most moisture so love that. I have been loving using this heat taming spray it is the Tresemme Thermal Creations and sometimes the nozzle gets a little clogged up but you can just kind of scrape it off just in case you like are like what the heck it doesn't work because if it gets clogged up it like shoots out a concentrated stream and then your hair is like soaking from it but otherwise it's like a pretty like fine mist I don't feel like it weighs my hair down or makes it feel like I have extra product on there. It actually makes it feel more smooth. So love this 
for to go buy that. Yeah, she I have a heat protector. It's the blow dry heat protector. Yeah. We love tons of hairsprays, but around this time of the month, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and you can get the bedhead at Ulta for like seven dollars. It mm -hmm. used to be ten, now it's seven. And it's really good at holding your hair when you curl it. Mm -hmm. It does get a little bit crunchy, so if you don't like, you know, the crunchy hair. <laughs> well, I think if you just you spray it at a distance, yeah. it gives you that good hold. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't call it a flexible hold hairspray. No, no. If you want flexible, you want to get some, like, Tresemme Ultra yeah. Fine Mist or something. But, no, for the price, for 7 bucks for, you know, this, we love the smell. We love how it holds. And it helps the whole Breast Cancer Awareness Month when you purchase it at Ulta. So, we like that, too. Yeah. So, that concludes some of our most favoritest hair products in the whole entire wide world web. Yes, it sure does. And if you guys have any tips or tricks for, you know, our hair, like products that you use that you think would be beneficial for us to use, then let us know down below. And you can also let us know, like, just your hair routine and, and video response and all that jazz. And we will talk to all of you guys in our next video. Yes, all of you. All of you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. I didn't say we sure will.